Basically, I went to play this pub tournament in South London, South South London. It's a private game in a private members club. And my girlfriend invited me and she said, do you want to come? And I was like, it's a tissue. It's 20 bound freeze out, private members club. It's going to be like 25 to 30 people. And I was like, no, I don't want to come. <laughs> that sounds awful. Because I have to drive down there and, you know, it's a freeze out. So if you bust early, you're done. And you know, these like pub tournament formats are super aggressive. So there's a very real chance I could have like lost like first hand. You start with like 50, 70 or 60 bigs or something. Anyway, we, I get there and meet up with her. And then we walk past this geezer who's who's walking towards the, the members club. And she's like, that's the, the guy that runs the game. He looks like a bit of a knob, right? And she goes, he's a, he's a fucking. And I went, oh, really? Like thinking, I mean, you know, I'm sure a lot of people say that about a lot of people and they don't end up being you know that bad anyway i end up on this geezer's table and he is a giga like absolute asshole every hand he's like telling people what they should he's atrocious by the way my girlfriend was also on my table and, and he was like so this guy played he's like talks like this this guy played before then she's like no he's new and i was like yeah it's one of my first times like just go along with it he was like, all right okay and then he was like just trying to like say a bunch of stuff about every hand like he would just like chat like talk a load of shit about the spot so he's really loud and abrasive super up himself and then this this girl that's like new to the game plays this hand where someone shoves out of turn and instead of betting like minimum bet to, so she can see the river she thinks that she has to go all in or fold so she no one explains this to her she goes all in thinking i've got to match the all in because they've gone out of turn and then after she does that she loses to top set um with two pair and he's like, you know, what you've done there, it's a learning curve. What you should have done is uh, just bet one big blind and then he couldn't have raised. Yeah, the, the other person would have just done that as well. And then, yeah, what you've done there is you, you won't do it again now that you've learned that. But um, yeah, that's what you should have done. Now you're out. So there's nothing you can do about it. Those are the rules, unfortunately. Like, I couldn't have told you in the hand because it wouldn't be fair. Like all this stuff, I'm like... And he just wouldn't shut up for about two minutes saying the same thing over and over again to her. And she's literally sitting there like... Like this, it does not, I have no idea. What, can you imagine knowing that rule when you're completely new to the game? And I was like, fuck this guy, man. And then it, it was a five pound bounty as well. 20 pound buy and five pound bounty. And basically you, you, you knock him out, you get a fiver. Anyway, he knocks his person out. He goes, starts talking about how well he played. He's like, you've got a fiver, got a fiver, by the way. And she obviously they have to give the fiver over, takes the fiver, knocks someone else out. Oh yeah, they are just stacking his chips like this, like really loud. Got a fiver, got a fiver, have you? I, and I'm like, fuck this guy. Please let me stack him. Please. Like, he's got all the chips as well. And I'm like, sure. Anyway, he plays this hand. He's got Queen Jack on Queen Jack 7, 6, 8 or something. It's a bricky fucking board with no flush completion. And he snap checks back the river because uh, he thinks it's a four flush with top two pair. And I went, mate? Like, as in like, how have you not fucking value back that? It's like 10p in the pot. And he's like, oh, fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell. I thought that fucking uh, seven of hearts was a seven of diamonds. I thought it was a fucking four flush. You're going to lose to a fucking flush. And I was like, oh, well, it's just a learning curve, isn't it, mate? It's a learning curve. You've got to learn how to read the board, haven't you? And he fucking hated it. Anyway, from that point on, he was all over me. He was, I was min raising because obviously the blinds are so high. I was min raising. He's like, oh, what's all this fucking min ra He's fucking min raising. Oh, I'm, and I was I'm min raising this big blind. He went, I'm just going to fucking call everything, aren't I? Because I can't fold anything. I've already got, I've already got 800 out there. Well, I, well, there's not any fucking hands I'm going to fold. He defends and then just like snap folds the flop. He's like, oh, it's only fucking 800 anyway. Stupid race size. What am I going to do against that? So he gets to the final table and I've got like quite a few chips. I want a few flips to, uh, on the second table, which is not like me. Anyway, I'm on the final table. I've got the chip lead. He's like second in chips and we get down to the final five or final four, sorry. And he's like shoving all in going, oh yeah, you know, I'm, I'm doing this because of that. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, you've only got this left. You should be in there. You got to start risking it. Fucking got to start fucking taking a risk. Like tell everyone what they should do. This guy is one of the worst players I've ever seen, by the way. One of the worst players I've ever seen. And I was like, just please let me stack him. Anyway, we're four-handed. The other two players have got fucking nothing. They've got no chips, zero, nada. They've got nothing to... They've got like... We're talking, you know, less than 10 big blinds. Easily less than 10 big blinds. I jam the button with King, Queen of Spades. And he's in the big blind. And he's got like half of my chips. The other two have got fucking like two, two to five bigs max. Anyway, I shove King, Queen. He goes, oh, fucking hell. I've got a call. Cool. Fucking got a call. And he's got six. I'm like, this is like the worst call ever because obviously you've got two people lead, like, that are going out and the, the, the payouts are 40, 60, 110, 220. So it's obviously just a giga punt like ICM uh, problem. It's self-dealt. So I've got the deck and I'm like, please dealer. I love the dealer. I'm like, dealer, please. I'm like, I say, so I say to him, good luck. Nothing. He's just staring at the board going like this. Fucking, like, you can see he's going, oh, fucking. And I'm like, and I go again. I say, I make a, I make a point of it and I hold the deck and I go, good luck, mate. Nothing, just staring at the board. I went, right, here we go then, flop a king. I'm like, oh, please. Turns a brick. And then 
I shit you not, guys. The river. I've got the river in my hand. It's not even hit the board. I've gone like this. I've seen it's a brick and I've gone, got a fiver and laid it down. And he's gone, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Hang on a minute, mate. Jesus. Fucking hell. I'm like, have you got a fiver? He's like, Froff. he's like shopping around. He throws the fucking payouts at the table. He's like, you fucking sort it out. Gives me, throws my fiver at me. And then I knock the next two people out. And uh, I, I said, don't worry, guys, you buy yourself a drink. Because I wanted to feed back. I, I didn't take their bounties. I wanted it to feed back to him. that I'd snap ass for his bounty, but I'd let the others off <laughs> just to piss him off even more. And then at the end, I shook his hand and went, thank you very much for the game, mate. Couldn't even fucking look him in the eye. So I don't think I'll be getting invited back, which is kind of the idea. <laughs> It was very, very enjoyable, I have to say, when I, when I asked him for that fiver and I knocked him out. And we took it down for 220 quid. I swapped half of my girlfriend, so it was a bit of a, a, bit of a waste of fucking time. <laughs> but uh, I, had a, I had a much better time than I thought I was going to have at a sober pub game. But he's the loudest man. His wife came and sat next to him and he was just like talking on the other side of the room and she just looked at him like this and went, you're so loud. <laughs> like, like the most disdain you could possibly imagine. It's like... Like the kind of look that was like, I'm only with you because there's no, there's literally nothing else. Like I can't be bothered to deal with the ramifications of breaking up with you. Like that kind of, that kind of look. He also guys, he also came up to it at the end. So it goes to two, it goes to heads up, right? And I've got like a 50 to one ship lead. I'm not even kidding. And there's just this, this blessing, this guy, Jim, who's just like managed to fold his way into second because everyone else is just punting off. He comes up and he goes, right, there's 110 for second. There's 220 for first. So I, I don't know what you want to do about a deal. And I was like, I'm not doing any deals. So I've got, got half of myself and there's 10p up top. And there's no deal. I was like, I'll give you a hundred, I'll give you 111 pounds now, which in second place is 110, just as a joke. And then he just, he just went, oh fuck. Because clearly they, they deal all the time. There was no fucking way I was dealing. He just went, I don't know what you want to do about a deal. As if like, oh, come on, what, what deal are you going to do? I'm like, fuck off, mate. I'm not doing a deal. And he shook his head and went, oh, and just chucked it back down again and went off and played darts. Oh, another amazing moment on the file table. It's six left. And there's five paid. He goes, right, guys. He goes, fucking, fucking right, guys. We're on the button. I went, what? We're on the button, mate. And I went, do you mean on the bubble? And he goes, oh, yeah, fucking, oh, yeah, fucking bubble, whatever, whatever. <laughs> what a knob. <laughs>